Press Release Marketing for Reputation Management Do you have any idea how damaging negative reports about you or your company can be? When an interested prospect does a search on your company name, or in the case of professional services, your personal name, what would you like to see appear? Negative comments, slanderous exclamations, and various complaints, or great things about your company or yourself, you may have an unethical competitor, or even a jilted lover, and all of a sudden your reputation is in a shambles. It happens all of the time. Easier to accomplish than identity theft. Do a search in Google using your company name and your personal name and see what comes up in the search results. Don't become a victim be proactive. Don't wait until there are negative things posted all over the internet. A recommended course of action is to set up a bunch of blog sites for you or your company, or both. Then they should be populated with everything good about you. News stories, awards, philanthropy, and family involvement look real good. As these blog sites age, the SEO value grows. When somebody wants to check you or your company out, one of your favorable blog sites should appear. Presto, you are looking good. SEO considerations Of course all of these actions should be done with SEO in mind. The correct use of keywords will target your desired audience and geographical area. If there is something negative that has appeared on Google, it should be targeted and knocked down in the rankings. PR marketing is like any other form of marketing in that consistency will give the best results. Reputation management is not a one-shot deal. Press releases should be distributed at least once a week, and articles should be written twice a week for inclusion on the blogs. Remember that each article must be unique. Unlike PRs, you can't submit an article to more than one place, or Google will view it as duplicate content and will penalize you. This is not something that should be done by amateurs, too much is at stake. Think of it as an investment, stay away from the so-called free news sites. Google is treating these free sites like online PR directories, not as authority sites like they do with bona fide news sites. They charge extra for hot links so they are not really free. You get what you pay for. Press release distributorscom are specialists in online marketing.